Next, we are going to conduct black mirror on our test or short circuit test. So, last lecture we have done is no load test. What is the purpose of no load test? Shell branches are the parent test calculate for normal. That is core components are calculate for normal, right? So, at that time, the variable losses, fixed losses, we are going to do only. That is fixed losses, that is constant loss. That is calculate for normal. So, we are conducting what? No load test. So, next we are going to conduct short circuit test. What is that? Induction machine where that is induction motor where rotor point now end up on a problem now black on a problem right so that is called a short circuit test so blacking in the sense we are going to make the value of rotor speed as zero right now for rotor to speed at the zero is so that is called a blacking we are blacking the rotor to stop that is to rotate right for rotor rotor to speed zero is so that slip board will end up on the slip board become one right when rotor will become zero slip board will be one matter of the last year again now. 1 by 1 become 1, 1 minus 1 become 0, so this total value is going to be 0. If it is 0, resistance will become 0. Resistance 0 will be in a circuit that is called short circuit test. Clear? So the current through this line is called short circuit, right? That is short circuit current. So this test is called short circuit test or black in the rotor test. Okay? Now so black in the rotor test, we should have to see. Now we have to open uh, circuit test, that is no load test. No load test, we have to apply the voltage to the rated voltage. But the amount of current is very very less. If we are short circuit test connect one more, then we can see that when the moment we are connecting short circuit current, current is very very high. That is almost rated current. Then we pass that one. But the applied voltage will be reduced. That is very less amount of voltage that should be required to connect short circuit test. Right? Another thing we can see. Core loss component, that is iron loss, is directly proportional to voltage, right? On a short circuit connect, uh, short circuit test we connect one another. Now apply one voltage level, and that will be reduced another. That is, we are reducing the amount of voltage. Rated voltage level, that will be reduced another. Core loss components, since it is directly proportional to square times of voltage, our voltage level amount, that is, now apply one voltage level value reduced another. Then iron loss level value will be reduced another. That is, core loss will be negligible. You can make it. Similarly, another one is called mechanical losses. Mechanical losses, for example, are loss which is called that is directly proportional to speed of the machine. Rotor at the speed of low, induction motor running at the zero speed. For the zero, it is called mechanical losses. That is also neglected. Apart from that, machine for example, loss, variable loss, what is there? That is called variable losses. Variable losses are what? That is called copper loss. Standard like a winding wheel, rotor like a winding wheel, like a Resistance, right? Resistance all are half a loss now. Even now, we should not apply, right? So we are neglecting core component since the applied voltage is very very less, right? And then we are magnetizing current. This is clear. This is now apply for voltage is very very less. We can neglect these two components. Clear? Now that is the equivalent circuit under the black mirror rotor test, right? If we are doing the combined one, in the rotor the resistance same, standard resistance same, combined one, we will get R equivalent. Similarly, standard reactance, rotor reactance, combined one, we will get. Total equal reactance and resistance. And one more thing I would like to tell you here: the reactance circuit, yeah, there are no practical or the machine problem we have to do. Now, the standard resistance and rotor resistance and equal resistance are two or three divided. Now, I am correct. Are we not right? Right? Almost they are approximately equal. And they are equal to x equal to y two. Clear? Okay, fine. So this is all about equal circuit. Okay, what is the purpose? Short circuit circuit that we are going to connect with our variable loss machine problem. अब आ गए वाट मीटर कनेक्ट करने का वोल्ट मीटर अम्मी मीटर ट्रांसफार्मर लाइन का टेस्ट कनेक्ट करना हो आप लोग आप लोग रिपीट करना है तो वाट मीटर लाइन का रिपीट करना हो थ्री फेस ले आ अब टोटल करंट बिकम थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ आई स्क्वायर इनटू आर इक्वल दैट इस टोटल रेसिस्टेंस क्लियर इन लाइन लिया पर करंट दैट इस में स्टोर्ड टोटल स्टैंडर्ड करंट लाइन लिया पर करंट राइट सो टोटल i स्क्वायर इनटू r बट सिंस इट इस थ्री फेस तो इस थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ i स्क्वायर इनटू r राइट सो दिस इस माय कापर लास्ट इधर हम तो वाट मीटर रीडिंग लेते अपडेट करें चलो राइट सो अम्मीटर रीडिंग लेते तो करंट का वैल्यू डबल देते हैं सो अम्मीटर रीडिंग लेते करंट का वैल्यू डबल देते वाट मीटर रीडिंग लेते कापर ला� उटन This is called series branch parameter calculation, right? So from variable loss, we calculate one inch. Series branch parameter we calculate one inch. And then we know the value of R equivalent and Z equivalent. With the help of these two, we can also estimate the value of power factor. Clear? 
So short circuit test correct one over power factory number calculate one clock clear. So this is all about black dot test right. So let me clear on your question over while solving the problems test out the parameters now put it to your requested to calculate the losses and the various parameters clear. Okay, whether that's a doubt in there, you can ask in the comment section. So thanks for watching our videos. Thank you all.